Tina McCoola joins us live from Citrus Heights with the uh, look around herself. Hey, Hi Tina. guys, I'm in Sunrise Mall right next to the theaters. We got one little area here dedicated to the local art of Citrus Heights. Catherine Cooley, so City of Citrus Heights. All right, this is a today only thing or what, this weekend? This is happening today, noon to five, as well as tomorrow. Today we're featuring veterans okay. and tomorrow is Mesa Verde High School. All right, and so what kind of art can we expect if we come through here? We've got all different kinds of art. We have over 300 pieces. We have photography, we have paintings, we have sculptures, and 70 of these pieces are done by our local veterans. Okay, and let's go meet one here. We got Richard Ante here. Hi, Richard. How are you doing? I love you. Have been very busy with all your artwork. This yeah. whole wall is yours, including those three right there. Yes, and I don't know how I got them all here. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me the top one right over here. Oh, this one over here. Yeah. That's the the city of of uh, Florence in Italy okay. and that the dome that you see on the right side that was built in like 800 and that was they wondered how they made it. He started painting uh, what 2000? 2008 for my book covers. Why? What is, how has painting helped you? Well it keeps me out of trouble <laughs> first of all yes. and I I do a lot of painting at Chick Fil A and and uh, Carl's Jr. Okay. And I just got to give him that that honor because I go there and paint and I get to talk to kids and they ask me questions about art and we talk and it's really a lot of fun. He's a pretty cool guy. He wrote a book and he served in uh, Vietnam. So thank yes. you for sharing your art with us. I love that. I love that. Here we also have Sherry. Another local artist. You did Hi. this piece right here, right? Yes, yes. It's called I Am the Light, okay. and it's a mixed media piece. This is a, a painting that I, I created to inspire the viewer to live presently. Okay. The uh, painting itself is actually a uh, part of the proceeds will go towards Weave, Inc. of Sacramento. Okay. We've helped me to escape abuse at one time in my life, and this is just my way of giving back. I love that. Thank I love you. that. So you can see and hear some stuff from uh, the kids at Mesa Verde High School. Um, looks good. I love that. So come out and celebrate this wonderful, beautiful art here. Our local <laughs> artists, they have so much talent. Have all this right over here. Again, Citrus Heights. Come over here some more, and we have some um, up in the front that are actually painting right now. Let's go say hello. Let's go. What you got going on right there? Hi, Tina. I got two giraffes going on. I got the mama giraffe and the baby giraffe. Okay, what is your name? I'm Chantel Persons. Okay, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hi, nice hello. to meet you. What's your name? Ed Cheney. All right, what are you painting there? I'm doing a leopard. Wow, that's going to take a while. Yeah. You need some help? Uh, almost. <laughs> <laughs> this I said, is one of my paintings also. Oh, this one too? Yes. Oh, wow. All right. A Civil War. Uh, prisoner of War okay. from 1867 All right. as he was released from Rock Island Prison. All right. Well, thank you for sharing. Thank you for sharing your art with us. Stop by again right next to the mall, uh, inside Sunrise uh, Mall, next to the theaters. Cool. All right, guys, back over to you. I am so fascinated by watching an artist's work. Yeah. I can sit there and watch it for hours. Thanks, Tina.